Please introduce yourself. I am Shaquille from Lahore. I am a textile graduate. Well, from where you have done your graduation? I have done my graduation from National Textile University, Faisalabad. Okay, I will ask some question regarding weaving looms. What are the types of looms with respect to weft insertion? There are two types of looms with respect to weft insertion. Shuttle looms and shuttleless looms. Okay, what are further types of shuttle and shuttleless looms? Types of shuttle looms are automatic shuttle looms and non-automatic shuttle looms. While types of shuttleless looms are projectile looms, rapier looms, air jet looms, and water jet looms. Okay, tell me passage of warp sheet through different parts of loom. Warp sheet passes from backrest, droppers, heeled wires of frames, reed, and press rollers to fabric roll. Tell me different types of motions on weaving looms. There are three types of motion on weaving looms. Primary motions, secondary motions, and auxiliary motions. Elaborate primary motions. These are the mechanisms which are essentially required on a weaving machine for the operation to be carried out. First one is shutting which is done with tappets, doby, tricord. Second one is picking which is done with shuttle or shuttle less mechanism and third one is beat up which is done by crank or cam. Okay you are going very well. Now please tell me about secondary motions on loom. These mechanisms are needed for a continuous weaving operation. To cause the material to move forward on the weaving machine. First one is let off which is releasing the warp sheet from the weaver's beam in a controlled manner with uniform tension on speed. And second one is take up which is winding of the woven fabric onto the cloth beam. What are auxiliary motions on loom? These mechanisms are required for defect free weaving operation and to stop the machine automatically when such a fault occurs. Without these, the process will continue but there will be occurrence of faults due to warp breakage, weft breakage. The machine has to be stopped manually for attending these faults. First one is warp stop motion to stop the machine even when a single warp breaks and to facilitate a detection of broken end. Second one is weft stop motion to stop the loom when there is a weft break or the weft package replenishes on non-auto looms. What is tappet shutting? Tappet shutting is used for simple weaves like plain twill etc. There are two types of tappet shedding. Positive and negative tappet shedding. On tappet looms there is a limitation of frames used. Maximum numbers of frames used on tappet looms is 7. What is Adobe shedding? Adobe shedding is used for some complex designs like derivatives off the wheels, combination weaves, set interivatives etc. On Adobe looms we can use up to 16 shafts or frames. What is Chiquard shedding? Jacquard shutting is used for most complex and intricate designs where individual heel wires need to be controlled independently. Maximum figuring with 1600 hooks can be done. There are two types of jacquard looms. Mechanical jacquard and electronic jacquard. What are disadvantages of shuttle picking system? Heavy mass of shuttle, approximately 500 grams. High energy consumption. Low speed and productivity. More defects in fabric. More downtime. More maintenance cost. More low skilled manpower requirement. More wastage. More vibration of machine parts. More noise. Why a concept of shuttle less weaving is introduced? To eliminate the heavyweight weft carrier. To eliminate unnecessary to and fro movement. To eliminate the movement of entire weft package. To minimize power consumption in picking. To improve quality of woven fabric. To improve productivity. You would be pleased to know that your knowledge level is very high. I have shortlisted you for your final interview. Best of luck. Thank a lot for appreciation, ma'am.